back and I'm the only one though. You can take a sip, but I'ma make it dip. And your herb and your alcohol can shit and shit spin. I just wanna get comfy. I ain't trying to get rich. Cause when niggas get rich, it's in the act like a All right, everyone, welcome to BGW Frontline. And then we're back. Nashville, Tennessee with another BGW show for the faithful. But we're not going to pussyfoot around. We're going to jump straight into action today. Our first matchup of the day is Foxy versus the MMW Princess, Tiffany Barnett. But first, we got a little something from the SSDB, the soul-sucking demon bitch. So we're going to see what she has to say today. SSDB has been on a tear as of late. She got a big win and a triple threat. Then she got a win versus Big Ronda Jean. And a title shot versus the illustrious Kitty, where she became the fourth woman ever to acquire the BGW women's title. And now she wants to come out center ring for a little self-promotion and how can you say no to the champ Yes, the SSDB, BGW Women's Champion, making her way to the ring. She says, you all know my name. You all know my game. If you don't judge me for a minute, there's a superstar in this company who is so good at what she does. She's a model superstar and makes me proud to be in this company. She's someone I greatly admire. I know you all want to see this. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Do you want to see the illustrious Kitty in this very ring at this very moment? I know I do. So get in this ring right now and, or get ready to suffer the consequences. So sucking demon bitch calling out the illustrious one. Making her way to the ring now is the illustrious Kitty, former BGW Women's Champion. Illustrious Kitty grabbing a microphone of her own. This is such a great crowd here tonight. Shame they have to watch and listen to you. You're a sorry excuse for a superstar. And I want this division back. You're the reason I'm out here tonight. So these people can see what a real superstar looks like. Nobody here wants to listen to anything you have to say, especially not me. Your words have no worth or value. All you do is run your goddamn jib. You aren't capable of backing anything you say up or you have to say. Maybe you should run off or run for office. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. 
I think you had me confused with someone else because if you knew who I was, you would not talk to me like that. Stop it. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're not standing here and put up with this anymore. You're nothing more. I can't see it because the thing is in the way on the screen. With a cheap wannabe. I know you want everyone to think you're so big, bad, and tough, but deep down, I know you don't want to beat me. You want to beat me. That's the kitty popping <laughs> off. I'm going to keep coming at you. Every time you come out to make a statement, every time you lace up your boots, I'm going to be there until I get a match sign. Well, that's no problem because these two ladies will go head up at BGW while we're independent. While we've been out here for what seems like an eternity, and I still don't know what you're all about. Is there anything going on inside that head of yours? Sucking demon bitch with a big right hand to draw the illustrious one, and Kitty took it like a G. Grab! Oh my God! Big pancake! These two ladies, they talk enough shit now. It's boiling down to some physical action. Kitty, blonde dark on the soul sucking demon bitch, slamming that arm down. The illustrious Kitty pissed off that she is no longer women's champion here in BGW. There's a second long dart. to the soul second demon bitch. Big right hand. Snatches her up. Dumps her right on the back of her head. Clock on the chin stand. Reversal. European number cut by Kitty. Irish whipped into the corner. Big clothesline. And SSDB is down. Elbow drop across the rest of the side. By the illustrious one. Walks her to the ropes. Drops her throw first across the top rope. Thus gets Kitty with a big clothesline. And the referee steps in between. Trying to keep Kitty off the soul second demon bitch. And that's how our show is starting off today. Big action between these two competitors. Who will meet at the All Independence Pay-Per-View. For the BGW Women's Title. Holy shit. Holy hot damn. But right now, we're going to get right into this match. It's Fox versus the MMW Princess, Tiffany Barnett. Yes, indeed. Faithful, hard posting Team Demonic in the chat. Nobody in Team Demonic is in this matchup. But you just want to throw it out there, I'm sure. Once again, we got Fox going up against the MMW Princess Tiffany Barnett. Oh, we're talking about Kitty. Gonna tear that ass up, try to get that title back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to start this first matchup for the night. After that interesting and violent conversation by the illustrious Kitty and the soul second demon bitch, we're going to get right into action here. Making her way to the ring, it is Fox.
as we ready for singles action. Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. Tiffany Barnett making her way to the ring. I don't know what's going on, you guys. Lately, I've been having some microphone issues. Goddamn mic keeps turning it off without me knowing about it. But we got Fox in here, like I was saying earlier, one of the newest competitors here in BGW, taking on a BGW veteran. Tiffany Barnett, the MMW princess. Alrighty, and this matchup is about to get underway. Let's get it. Collar elbow typing is in the room and straight to a snap suplex to Fox on Tiffany Barnett. Misses the kick to the lower back. Barnett stands up, grabs her, spins her around. I was ripped into the corner. Such power, she bounces out like a rubber ball. Tiffany Barnett grabbing her by the throat. Setting her up, two arms, choke slam by Big Tiff Barnett, who eats a right hand to the jaw by Fox. That drops her all the way to the mat. Barnett rolls out the way, caught a double tie up, forcing her back to the ropes. Are right, we going to get a clean break here? Referee stepping in between these two ladies. And we do get a clean break by Tiffany. Fox snatches her up, big power slam. Kick to the back, Tiffany takes it like a gangster. Shoulder block, dropping Fox. Boot across the tetas. Snatches Fox up off the mat. Kick to the midsection. He says, let me go, bitch. They bump shoulders. And a spear by Fox. Big boot to the side of the head by Fox. Sits Tiffany up and a kick in the back. Fox using her legs and toss across the ring by the hair. Tiffany Barnett eating the feet tonight. European uppercut by Fox. Snatches her up. Flapjack. Fox in control of this matchup for the most part thus far. Barnett with an arm ringer. Close line. Referee with the best seat in the house. Arm ringer, shoulder block. Lots of reversals back and forth in this matchup. Fox dragging Tiffany away from the ropes. Sits her up one more time. Good shoulder block by Tiffany Barnett. Kick to the midsection and the knee across the throat by Big Tiffany. Headbutt by Tiffany Barnett and a stomp to the chest. Oh, and it's a mission maneuver by Tiffany Barnett. Can Foxy hold on? Yes, she does. Gets loose knee to the back of the head and a push to the forehead to get loose from that particular maneuver. Tiffany Barnett and Fox runs to catch a breather. She is pissed off outside the ring. Wondering how come what she's doing is not working. Right hand by Tiffany. Elbow by Fox. Big right hand. Lock. Kick to the midsection. 
forearm to the jaw by Barnett. Kicked it in a big forearm across the back. Tiffany Barnett not playing any games today. Grab by the back of the hair, slam down on the mat. Right hand by Fox. Spinning neck breaker outside the ring. Referee up to the count of six legs by Tiffany Barnett. Tiffany slides back in the ring at seven. Rolls back out to restart the count. Caught. Fireman's carry. Flapjack outside the ring. Grabs Tiffany, dragging her back toward the steel post. Face first into the steel post. Tiffany Barnett two times. Fox taking matters into her own hands. Left hand to the jaw. Grabs and tosses her back in. Seven count before Fox slides back in. Fox setting up for something here. Grabs Tiffany, has her up. Sit out power bomb into the finish of different one. Two. Oh, she kicks out that two. Very close. Almost the end of this matchup. Elbow to the ribs by Tiffany. Pass Fox up. Power driver. Just dumps her on the top of her fucking head. And Tiffany Barnett steps back into the corner to admire her work. Stomp to the face by Big Tiff. Snatches her up again. Sit out powerbomb into a pretty predicament of her own. Two. Kick out that two. Big head, but these two ladies fighting a very deliberate, slow-paced matchup. And Tiffany Barnett drops right hands. Ready down the right hands with a stomp to the stomach. Tiffany seems a little winded. Tiffany Barnett firing up the band. Big boot to the jaw by Tiffany Barnett. Here's the cover. One, two, three. Oh, my God. It does not get closer than that. And that was almost it. Tiffany Barnett with a very near fall. Fox to kick the jaw to get loose. He's going to have to do something. And Tiffany's going to. Run away with this one, MMW Princess. Trying to get back on the winning track here. Reversal, big right hand by Tim. Close line. Sitting abdominal stretch by Tiffany Barnett. Working this is mission maneuver. Fox gets loose. Almost, not quite. Hip toss. Big hip toss by Fox. She's still feeling the effects. We got a double stretch of right out here again. Uppercut by Tiffany Barnett. Grass Fox snatches her up again. Another big pile driver. Dumping her on the top of that weed. Has her up, firing in scary position. Dumps on her back of her head. And Tiffany Barnett goes for another quick cover. He's going to do it. One, two. Oh! Not quite. And Tiffany tells the ref to count faster, motherfucker. <laughs> Tiffany striking up the band. Oh, misses the boot that time. Fox steps out of the way. Big shoulder block by Tiffany. Staying in control after that missed maneuver. Back body drop by Fox. I'm sure Fox is geeked up right now. Tiffany Barnett kicks her off. Tosses her across the ring by the neck. Another stomp to the face, Tiffany Barnett. Getting a foul in this one. Snatches her up. Another sit out power bomb. Into a pity position. One, two. Oh my God. So close yet again. So close with no cigar. 
Foxy reversing. He lifts. Foxy double underhook. Dumps her face first into the mat. And now Fox circling and play like a shark. Barnett gets up. Arm ringer bringing her all the way down to the floor face first. Tiffany Barnett has her up. Fireman's carry position. Dumps on her back of her head one more time. Tiffany Barnett sticking to a very small move set. One, two, three, and that's it, Tiffany. Barnett, the MMW princess, victorious over Fox. There was a big spear by Fox early on in the match. Sit out power bomb. Beautiful maneuver by Fox right there. Tiffany Barnett kicks out before the three count. Who can forget this? Dumps on the back of her head, does Barnett. Referee getting a lot of work here. Counting pinfalls. <laughs> These ladies went for a lot of pin temps. Ooh, and I think that's what hurt her real bad with that arm ringer bringing her face first to the mat. And the winner of this match once again, the MMW Princess, Tiffany Barnett. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Guys, I think this Nashville crowd is in a lot of their witnesses such an incredible performance. We're going to keep it pushing into our next matchup. Two newer comers to BGW. We, we got Big action. Evil going head up we against Killer Chaos. Chaos looked very impressive in this last matchup that we saw him here in BGW. Big Evil yet to make a lasting impression. This is his opportunity to start getting some work done here in BGW and making his way towards a title shot of some kind. Killer Chaos prepared to do the same. And once again, well not once again, I would like to state that I do not own the rights to any of this music being played during today's show, except the song at the beginning. And I definitely own the rights to that shit. Right now, we're about to get it in. Big Evil versus Killer Chaos in this one fall head up matchup. Whenever this motherfucker loads, there we go. We got some movement after being stuck in motion for a second. We're about to be underway. Big Evil versus Killer Chaos here on BGW Flatline. Whew. 
All right, here we go. Making his way to the ring. It's B.E. Big Evil. This should be a big, big matchup for Big Evil should he be victorious. Two similar styles of attack, both power wrestlers. And his opponent. Making his way into the BGW Flatline Arena. It's killer. Chaos. Talked to Killer Chaos backstage earlier before the show, and he said he is dead, set, focused on the championship title here in BGW, and he does not care who he has to run through, mow through, or lose a sock in the ass of in order to accomplish said mission. Killer Chaos said Big Evil wants that funk. Big Evil gets it. Here we go. Big evil. Killer chaos. Let's get it. Oh, they both run up to each other. The evil catches chaos with a big knee to the chest and jaw. Stomp and right into the rings of Saturn by Big Evil. Right off Jump Street. And chaos powers out. Elbows to the side of the head to get loose. Big Evil trying to get this one over in a hurry. Killer Chaos, arm ringer, go behind, belly to back, suplex. Big Evil, back body drop reversal. Boot across the chest by B.E. Arm ringer, clothesline by Chaos. Both of these men dropping a reversal move in rapid succession. There's a big stomp to the chest in a gut wrench. Pile driver by Killer Chaos, who snatches Big Evil up off the mat, right hand, blocked right hand, landed by Big Evil, and another big knee across the chest. Big Evil with a stomp. Chaos sweeps the leg. Stomp to the back by Big Evil. Rolling Chaos over, elbow into the knee, trapping that knee between the legs, and doing more damage to that kneecap. It's Killer Chaos. Got him up, reversal. Reverse DDT by Big Evil. Stomp to the midsection. and Killer Chaos turns around and right back into the rings of Statter. Big Evil trying to get a submission victory here on Killer Chaos who powers out one more time. Elbow to the other side of the cranium this time. Grabs him, tosses him up. Big belly to belly suplex. 
Shot blocked. Right hand lands. Big knee to the chest again. And Killer Chaos needs to watch out for those knees. Because Big Evil has them coming. Back to back. Chaos sweeps the leg again. Big Evil down on his back. Chaos with a stomp to the midsection. And this time, Big Evil slapped in the submission hold by Killer Chaos. Will he be able to get out? It's not. He's been in it for quite some time here. Will he tap out? Killer Chaos. Big Evil with a knee to the back of the head and a left hand to the face to get loose. He was looking like he might give it up there. Chaos, Irish whip. Evil into the corner. Elbow to the jaw by Evil. Chaos blocks knee to the midsection. Headbutt misses. And this, oh my God. And Killer Chaos is busting wide open by Big Evil after that maneuver. Evil drives him away from the rope. Drops the leg across the chest. Looked like he was going to sit there and go for a pin, but he decides to roll up. Hook the leg. One count. Killer Chaos. He starts with a crimson mask here. Big Evil. That's his rough Chaos sweeps the leg one more time. Drop to the rear. Knee to the back of the head. Flexing on him a little bit there. Snatches him up off the ground. Block right here to the midfield. From elbow to the back of the head. And this is the big knee this time. Chaos gets out the way. But Evil grabs him again. Has him up. Oh my goodness. Shoe slam. Looked like he was going to go for a textbook suplex. But let it drop into a body slam there. Arm drag takedown by Killer Chaos. Has him up. Power bomb, shit. Power bombed him so hard there was a glitch in the matrix right there. Has him. Dumps him face first, and that just might be it. Kill the chaos going for the cover. Two. Big Evil said, hell no, he ain't go. Killer Chaos pumped up, going to the ropes. Making his way up to the top rope fairly quickly for such a big man. Killer Chaos up, gets caught, big right hand to the jaw, and he's down. Big Evil going for the cover. One, two, oh, two and a half count. Killer Chaos kicking out. Big Evil thought it was over. He thought he had it, but it did not work out that way. Cross, shot, right hand to the forehead, two times. Irish went to the ropes, Irish went reversal. Big Evil coming back, he dropped. Another cross chop by Big Evil. Has Chaos up. Reverses off of the go behind. Neck breaker. And Big Evil rolls out to the apron. Killer Chaos stalking his prey. Big suplex back into the ring by Chaos. Headbutt on Big Evil. You hit somebody, headbutt somebody with a broken skull of their own back body drop. Big Evil taking off the turnbuckle pad. <laughs> Stomp rolls out the ring. Chaos rolls back in. Gets caught. Belly the back suplex by B.E. Warren to the jaw. Reverse right here to the ribs. Has him up. Oh my God. Spinning side slam. Face first into the mat. Killer Chaos out of the corner misses the kick to the face and Big Evil ducks out the way ducks the right hand kicks him in the midsection Chaos pile driver going for the cover here the referee too busy put the turnbuckle pad back on not paying attention not doing his job Killer Chaos I'm sure is going to be heated Let's him go right as the referee turns around. Checking to see how much blood is on his face. Left hand to the jaw, Big Evil. Stomp to the face. Killer Chaos, not happy. Has him up, reverses out. Kick to the midsection. Front face lock, European uppercut. Chaos against the ropes. Irish whip, 
on the way back. Big knee to the jaw one more time. And this time he hits the left foot level. One, two. Oh my goodness. Two and three quarter count by the referee. He, he, Big Evil setting up for something here. Close line takedown right into a cover. Kicks out at one. He said, that ain't gonna do it. I ain't going. Big Evil picks Chaos up. Grabs him, side slam into a pin. One, two. Oh, Killer Chaos. Two and a half count. The fight in this man is unbelievable. Stomp to the rim. Camel clutch by Big Evil. Can he get in the cap? Oh no. Killer Chaos gets out. Grabs both legs. Big Evil face first from the mat. Chaos grabs him, has him up, spinning, side slam, face first into the mat. Boot to the jaw by Evil. Evil more determined than ever. Another big boot to the jaw. Boot to the knee to get loose by Killer Chaos. Charging, close line, big evil all the way over the top rope to the max outside the ring. Got that rope stretched way out of proportion right there. Face first off the steel steps. Left hand across the chest, you know, a big boot to the side of the head, and now Big Evil is busted open as well. Killer Chaos stands him up. Face first into the mat. Catching his breath. Killer Chaos, a bit a tad winded. Big Evil arm in the shoulder block. And now he's setting up for something big again. Can Chaos get out of this? Who will be able to kick out big? Clothesline from hell. Hits the leg here for cover. One, two, three. Big Evil gets it done versus Killer Chaos. Both men busted wide open, but Big Evil just having a little bit more in the tank. There's that missed headbutt from earlier on. Oh! That looked like a three count to me. I saw the referee's hand come down, but he said it was only two and three quarters. There's a big knee and another pin attempt. All the competitors so far tonight keeping the referee working hard. Many, many pin attempts. And again, the winner of this match says, get your goddamn hands off me, referee. I can raise my own damn arm. The winner of this match, Big Evil. Yes, indeed, we're going to keep it pushing. Big Evil victorious in that last matchup. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. We have one of our breakout talents. Versus our next matchup is Lady Kabuki versus Yuri Yamashita. This should be a great women's matchup. Yuri Yamashita, been around for a few years here. Lady Kabuki, a newcomer here to BGW. And the newcomers have been getting it in as of late. The veterans need to step it up. 
lest the company be taken over by newcomers. Lady Kabuki winless this far in BGW and Yuri Yamashita has not had the best win-loss record as of late both of these ladies could use a victory tonight somebody's gonna get one who will it be We shall soon see. As this matchup is about to get underway. Yes, indeed, making her way to the ring. It's Lady Kabuki. Lady Kabuki, the assless wonder. The pale skin phenom. I don't know how she can see anything through that haircut. Even her boobs are cut low. But she is a hell of a competitor nonetheless. The thigh high zone, not giving two shits. Lady Kabuki with the elevator music. And now her opponent. At one point, she was one of the roughest bitches I've ever seen in BGW Proving Ground. When she moved to the main roster, that string of luck did not hold out. But she's ready to turn shit around, making her way into the BGW Frontline Arena. It is Yuri Yamashita. Yuri better not fuck around. She better not take uh, Lady Kabuki for a joke. Because she is definitely not one. Yuri Yamashita with a wardrobe change. And I gotta say, I like it. Here Yamashita making her way to the ring. This will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. You're Yamashita, another assless wonder. But lack of glutes does not mean you can't fight. It just means that you're a victim when it comes down to Pound Town. <sighs> 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 
Lady Kabuki, you're a Yamashita, BGW, front line. Let's get it. Collar the elbow, tie up in the center of the ring. You're a Yamashita, pushing Lady Kabuki back into the corner. Will we get a clean break? We've seen two so far tonight. And another one. Everybody wrestling with some dignity. Hurricane Rana. Yamashita gets the ropes. Lady Kabuki off the ropes. Big leg across the throat. Stomp with those big ass boots on. Yamashita kicks her off. That's just Kabuki up by the hair. Pushes her back against the ropes. Will we get another clean break here? No, we will not. Lady Kabuki with a big right hand slap and a spinning heel kick that drops Yamashita and the referee. Double leg takedown. Forms mostly blocked. Some of them getting through. Bouncing her head off the mat. Yuri Yamashita. Vicious in her attack. Dragging Kabuki back toward the center of the ring. Spins her out. Knee lift. Close line. Kabuki is down. Out to the apron. Yuri Yamashita. Big right hand. Dropping her down to the floor. Yamashita quickly up to the top rope. Waiting for Kabuki to get back on her toes. Yamashita. Oh, misses the move off the top rope and eats a stomp immediately upon hitting the mat. Elbow to the ribs by Kabuki. Right hand block. Yamashita with a boot to the ribs. Bounces her head off the apron. Kabuki is down. Yamashita tosses Lady Kabuki back in the ring. Yamashita follows her. I mean, Yamashita follows her up. Arm ringer brings that elbow down. Across the shoulder, the drop kick with them big ass go go boots. And Lady Kabuki is starting to take charge in this matchup. Forearm to the back. Grabs Yamashita. Leans her up against the ropes. Big clothesline all the way over the top rope. And now Kabuki up to the top rope. Oh, she misses the fish drop. Yeah. Drop kick to the knee. Hammer lock. She lands on her feet. Blocks the right hand, right hand of her own. Lady Kabuki. Beautiful inverted hurricane Rana there. Tosses Yuri Yamashita back in the ring. Lady Kabuki back up on her apron and up to the top rope. Throws the elbow on Yuri Yamashita. Long distance leap. And she's back on the top rope again. Lady Kabuki. Big cross splash into the cover. Is this going to be it? One, two. Oh, no. Two count. Yuri Yamashita said, hell no, she won't go. It's too early. Kabuki dragging Yamashita to the center of the ring. One arm, one leg, monkey talk. Into the corner by Lady Kabuki. Kabuki getting the crowd into this one. Stomp to the ribs two times. Springboard, leg drop over to the apron. Kabuki slides back in. Goes for the cover here. Yuri Yamashita kicking out at one. Boot to the back. Big knee lift to the jaw by Yuri. Rolls her over. Here's the cover. One, two, two count. Lady Kabuki kicks out. Blood mist spit through the mask by Yuri Yamashita. Forearm to the jaw. Another big forearm. The big Pele kick to the face by Yuri Yamashita. Kabuki, arm drag takedown. Kicks her up 
Drags that bitch by her hair to the wrong face first. Into the turnbuckle. Turns around. Here you got to ducks out the way. Call it up a tie-up. The bitch took her off. Five kick. Both feet to the breast of side. And Lady Kabuki is back in charge. Running drop kick to the turtle bell by Lady Kabuki. And Kabuki back up to the top. Yuri Yamashita better get the fuck out of the way or this might just be it. Big frog splash. Here's the cover. One, two, only a two count. Lady Kabuki getting the crowd into this one one more time. But dead silent from the crowd. Kabuki out to the apron. Yuri Yamashita starting to get back to her feet. Lady Kabuki. Her Karana caught powerbomb by Yuri Yamashita. Oh my goodness. Full Nelson drop. Dragging her away from the ropes. Picks her up. Kabuki on leg. Dragon whip to the knee. Rolls up. Hurricane Rana She's against the ropes. Kabuki off the ropes. 619 to the jaw. Lady Kabuki steps back inside. Going for a cover. He's just going to do it. Two. No, it will not. The roof is going back up to the top rope. I think she's going to go to the well one too many times. Kabuki waiting for Yuri Yamashita to get back to her feet. There it is. Oh my God, Flippy Kirana. Here's the cover. One, two, three, Lady Kabuki. Victorious. Beautiful maneuver for the pin there. Lady Kabuki comes out with the W. Once again, your winner of the match, Lady Kabuki. You're Yamashita. Give it Kabuki your prop six or handout and friendship. And Kabuki shakes that shit like a true buster. Supposed to sock the shit out of that bitch and keep it pushing. Sick of all this damn friendship. Like an old school Mortal Kombat game. Friendship. Fuck all that shit. Next matchup for the day. Plenty of people been waiting on this one. It's Dark Side versus Generation. Havoc and Truth talked a lot of shit. And now they're going to have to try to talk their way out of it. Or fight their way out of all the shit they talk that is. Can they do it? We shall see. The generation not known for doing a lot of talking. These Bannon boys play no games. Once again, we're going to have to change that message. But tune in Fridays and Sundays, 1 p.m. Pacific, for BGW.
I've gotten the word recently that Mixer will be shutting down and we'll have to take our show to Facebook games. We're going to see how that's going to work out. But right now, making their way to the ring, Havoc and Truth. Dark side. generation Bannon and Cameron Woods There we go, quick correction. Clothesline to start this match off. Literally, I believe that is Bannon arming a shoulder block. Right hands to the jaw. With a stomp, Dugger Suplex. Reverse European uppercut. I was whipped into the form of generation. Big flying forearm to the jaw. Dropping havoc. Knee to the small of the back. Stomp. Miss rolled out the way. Right back in the ring. Clothesline in his own corner. Pushed off. Front face lock. Bounced off the turnbuckle. Really. Quarter of the generation, it took the tag no. I was with reversal into the corner, reversing right back out. And the Irish with Tim right back into the corner of the generation. Nope, ring around the fucking rosy elbow to the jaw. Big boo on big knee, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Rotating Death Valley driver. And now he's setting up for something here. Leg sweep, face first, and Havoc is busted wide open. Rolls him over for the cover. There's been a lot of blood here tonight. Referee taking his time. Two. Two count. Irish rip back into the corner of generation. 
I mean, the generation quarter, I should say. Excuse me. Nope, bring around the Rosie one more time. I will slip the wrong way across the ring. Red Bucks. There's a tag. And they Iris with the rush. On the way back, double shoulder block. Dark side. Getting it done. Double headbutt. Stop. Now truth. Arm ringer. Close line. Big double foot stomp to the chest and guts. Right hand to the forehead. Oh my God, reaches up. Quick maneuver. Neck wrench. Trying to twist that head right off his neck and shoulder. Shoulder block, drops him. Stomp to the chest. Reverse dragon sleeper. Won't break that maneuver. Left hands to the fucking head. Right through. Don't miss. Right hand. I was slipped back into the corner. Close low, shoulder. Excuse me. Close line, no shoulder block. Forearm to the jaw. Very quick maneuver. Had me flustered. Arm bar. Twist that shit out of the socket. And I'm not sure if he was successful or not. But it looked like it hurt bad as hell. That's a brain buster. Big soccer kick to the spine. Go shoulder block. Drop it one more time. Irish whipped into the corner. Boot to the jaw. Grabbed him. Good tag team wrestling. Knees to the midsection. Up a cut there. Belly to the back. Suplex. Moved him into the gut ring position before he landed the big suplex. Stomp to the chest. Another gut wrench. Suplex. By truth. Cross arm. Power bomb. Snatches him back up off the mat. I was ripped into the corner. Admiring his work. I don't know why he doesn't go at him. This is looking like it's going to turn into something bad. It's exactly what you don't want to be doing. Versus the generation, you want to stay on top. Right hand, lands though. Grabs him by the back of the neck. Cobra clutch. Hip tosses him out of that maneuver. He took right hand to the midsection. Grabs him, snaps him up. Big suplex. That's what I'm saying. It looked like he was going to turn into something bad. Knee drop to the forehead. On truth, stomp to the ribs. Dragging him away from the corner there. Another big double foot stomp. Irish went back into the generation corner. Nope. They are not being allowed to make a tag off the rope. Springboard misses. Lunges at absolutely nothing. Big, big failure. Boot to the side of the face. In the standing position. Flexibility. Irish went back into the corner. Oh my God, he steals on him. And this time, they make the tag. As he loves. Package bomb. Stands him right back up. Big brain buster. Going for the pin here. Ref in position. One. One count. Right hand block four off to the back of the head. Jawbreaker. Right hand to the back of the head. In a generation. Trying to get her done. Arms for that takedown by Truth. 
big boot to the back of the head. Close line. These two, these two teams worn it out. Big close line. No love lost between these squads. It is obvious. I was looked to the corner, no teammate there. Moved out of the way, grabs him. Barry's a back suplex. Big gut stomp. This will be the time that the generation could take control and get a W. Says he's about to smoke this fool, but his kick is gone. Dragon whip to the knee. Stomp. Picks him up. Cross arm on him. Snatches him up. Cross arm. Power bomb. Going for the quick cover. One, two, three. That's it. Dark side. With the pin out of nowhere. I did not think that was going to end the matchup. The generation coming up short. Dark side victorious. <sighs> Truth and havoc. The winners in this matchup. All right, we're going to keep pushing. The third member of the generation. In our next matchup, we're going to see if he's able to come away with a victory, seeing as though his brethren were not able to. So, now, I won't say a surprise win, but the loss, the win, came out of nowhere. The next match is as entertaining as the last. <sighs> we got Colossus Colt versus Damian Daniels. Colossus Colt not successful in his attempt for the BGW heavyweight title. But that's not stopping him. He's right back at it. Trying to work his way back up to a title shot. The hard way this time. No money in the break briefcase. But he has to go head up with Dame Daniels. Dame Daniels is nobody's pushover. All right, here we go. He's making his way to the ring, representing enemy of the state. Colossus Colt. Our now former BTW heavyweight champion King Dynamite made fairly quick work out of Colossus Colt in their title matchup.
but not even King Dynamite saw what was in his future. As he ended up losing the BGW world title in his very next defense. For which he has a matchup next week in our pay-per-view. Our independence. Versus the Nightmare, the current BGW heavyweight champion. All right, Colossus Colt in the ring, ready for action. And he will be going up against the third member of the three members of the generation, Damian Daniels. And Dame Daniels not looking like he wants to play any games today. Damian Daniels saying he's part of the ultimate generation of competitors here in BGW. His squad mates took an L in the previous matchup. Let's see if Damian Daniels can get it done today against Colossus Colt, who's looking some for some redemption of his own. Colossus Colt, Damian Daniels. Let's get it. Daniels with a big knee to the jaw. Ran straight to Colt and lost that knee like a rocket. Boots to the back on Colt. Colt up to his feet. Float over. DDT by Damian Daniels. Colt. Power slam. Stomps on that right bicep. Colossus Colt. Said he ain't going out in this matchup. He got some shit to prove. Forearm to the spine. Stomp to the back. Another stomp to the midsection. Kick to the back. Colossus Colt vicious in his attack. Oh, face first into the mat. Colossus Colt. Jawbreaker by Damian Daniels. Big running sweep. Elbow to the jaw, kick to the midsection, missed the round kick and lands another one. Oh, LJ, you just missed it. Oh, I guess you saw that, huh? Dark side victorious over the generation. And now Colossus Colt. Going up against the third member of the generation. And he eats a stunt, not a stunner, but a... A motherfucking RKO out of nowhere. Drags him to the ropes. Tosses him all the way over the top rope. Bouncing off the apron. Damian Daniels follows him up. Kick to the legs. Oh, and a big clothesline on the outside. Damian Daniels not playing any games. Reversal. Caught right hand to the ribs. Tossing Damian Daniels back inside the ring. Colossus Colt follows him up. Back outside the ring. Looking for a weapon here in this hardcore matchup. Forearm. Two times. Roundhouse kick to the midsection. Backflip into a reverse neck breaker outside the ring. And Damian Daniels. Back body dropped on the outside of the referee. Its only job is to count for the three in this hardcore matchup. Tossed in the ring. Colossus Cole rolls inside. Stomp to the low back. Turns him up to his feet. He tosses him into the corner. Colossus Cole pumped up. 
stomp on his opponent. Running forearm two times. Oh my goodness. Right hand spins him all the way around. Double underhook. Butterfly suplex. Butterfly belly to back. Suplay. The Colossus caught still pumped up. Trying to get this victory over Damian Daniels. Uppercut into the corner. Right hand blocked Damian Daniels with the reversal. Kick to the midsection. Toss is caught down. Second roll. Flipping moonsault. Onto Colossus Cole stomp to the ribs. The stomp to the right arm. And Damian Daniels. Quick meditation. Close line. Two times. Missing the close line of the goal. Power slam by Dame Daniels. Kick to the ribs. To the midsection. Close line. Damian Daniels going for a cover here. One, two, two and a half. Colossus Colt better get back on his shit. He was doing good earlier in this matchup, but now Damian Daniels has taken control. Colossus Colt. That body drop. Oh, face first into the net. And Damian Daniels is busting wide open. One, two, oh, two and a half. Colossus Colt said that should have been a three. Dark side said, fuck all the tag teams in BGW. They better be careful. Elbow to the jaw. Like Colossus Colt. Knee lift. Kick to the chest. Two times. There are a lot of tag teams in BGW who I'm sure will take offense to that statement. Ball on to the jaw, and now Colossus Colt is busted open. Uppercuts. Kick to the ribs. Uppercut to the ribs. Picks him up. Walks him over to the barricade. Ooh, slams him on top. And lets him drop. Oh, face first. Outside the ring. Bounces him off the barricade. Damian Daniels brutalizing. Colossus caught outside the ring in another quick meditative moment. BGW is going down. Colossus caught. Damian Daniels caught tossed to the ring. Both of these men bloodied and battered. Rolls him over for the quick cover of repetition. position. One, two, kick out at two. Damian Daniels trying to get her done. Caught, elbow to the kneecap by Colossus. Big clothesline by Colt. Rolling snap there by Colossus. Colt. Snatching up Damian Daniels. Break of the eyes. Kick caught. Elbow to the knee one more time by Colt. Oh, and brings him down face first one more time. Here's the cover. Left in position. Colossus Colt brings home the victory for enemy of the state. And now all three members of the generation have faced defeat in back-to-back -back matchups. Colossus Colt ducks the clothesline. Right hand to Damian Daniels. He's pissed off about that little clothesline. Colossus Colt knocks Damian Daniels over the top rope. And Damian Daniels, not happy about the L, trying to take it out on court after the matchup, but that did not go his way. And now we got our main event of the evening, the Samoans going head up against Tech and Mo of enemy of the state let's see if enemy of the state can keep the w's going tonight colossus Cole just bring one home no easy task going against these samoans though
we already know how they get down. Main event of the evening. The two people that's checking me out in the chat. Let me know who you think is going to be victorious in this match. Got to call it before it starts. Oh. <sighs> Nobody. Faithful Heart chooses EOS. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Samoans going head up against Tech and Mo of Enemy of the State in our main event of the evening. Oh, LJ chooses EOS as well, huh? We're about to see you never know with these Samoans. They've been known to pull out some dirty tricks. Yes, indeed. Representing this Samoan route on the way to the ring. Loa and Losefa, the Islanders. And their opponents representing enemy of the state. M-O-E and T-E-C. TEC party and all the way to the ring. Yes, indeed. Main event of the evening. If you are new to BGW, we'd appreciate a follow on Mixer. And uh, you can check out any of our past shows by searching BGW Battleground Wrestling on YouTube. But right now we got MOE and TEC. Enemy of the state. All right, Loa. Starting off against TEC. Let's get it. Main event of the evening. TEC does the clothesline. He's one from behind. Loa misses the stomp. TEC up on his feet. Neck breaker. Big belly to belly slam by Tech. Stomp missed. Loa Irish with TEC across the ring. Big body splash in the corner. Loa dropping the left and right. T 
Tech better get his shit together. Because if he gets beat up for too long, there'll be no coming back. Big two-handed chop across the Tech. And TEC is down. Low Sefa tagged in. TEC back body drop. Tech snatching up Low Sefa. Big hook to the ribs. Spinning backhand. Left hook to the jaw. Iva slips to the ropes. On the way back. Oh my goodness. Back body drop. And held on to him all the way to the mat. Two boots to the rear. On a kick to the chest by TEC. Stomping that left hand. I mean right hand, excuse me. No, sir. Raven was not in tonight's show. Raven gets down Sunday. Knee and a forearm to the chest. Front face lock. Fisherman. Fisherman suplex pin. Kicked out of by TEC. Tech reverses out. European uppercut. Iris Whip into the corner with MOE. Nope, bring around the rose. He said, hell no. Nah. And a shoulder block to Mo. And he grabs TEC and Iris hit. Keeps him back. Nope, headbutt. That's exactly what you don't want to have happen. Catch a headbutt from one of the Islanders. There's a tag. Low I tag back in. Oh my god, and a stomp behind the knee by Loa. TEC seeming to have his issues, and there's a hot tag. MOE tagged in. Oh, caught by Loa. This is not good. Snap there. MOE momentum stopped instantly. Big kick to the spine. MOE back to the speed, firing a scary takedown. Stomp to the back of the leg two times. Loa. Arm ringer bringing a face punch to the mat. Gorilla Press. Oh my God, and drops him. Chest first on both of those knees. MOE offering their clothesline. All low ITC finally making back up to the apron area. Stomp to the ribs by MOE. Gut wrench. Sit down slam. Low uh, arm and uh, shoulder block. Put MOE on his pockets. Stomp to the ribs. Stretching him out. Modified camel clutch here with a knee in the back. Can MOE hold on? Oh, he's stretching him out. Well, Sefa. I mean, Loa, let's go. Let's up MOE. Double leg takedown. Another stomp to the back. Big right hand. Shit. Blasted him. With that big right hand. Irish whipped into the enemy to stay corner. Nope. Say you ain't getting shit. And Irish whips his ass all the way back across the ring into the corner of the Islanders. I don't know what the hell he's waiting on. You better stop fucking around. Big kick to the face by Loa. And that might just be it. Going for the cover here. MOE says, nope, it ain't tight. Not yet, not now. Drags him away from the center of the ring. Puts him in a perfect position for our guess. I don't know what he wants to do here. Turns him over. That's him all the way from the man. Big power bomb. Drags him away from the ropes. Back into the Islanders' corner. Makes the tag. Rolls step Rolls him over. Oh, into the one-legged submission. MOE, can he hold on? Or will he tap out the Islanders trying to stretch their opponent? And MOE tapped. He couldn't do it. 
the winners of this matchup, the Islanders. M-O-E and T-E-C couldn't get it done. The Islanders victorious, and there they go again, attacking their opponents after the match. Loa and Lo Sefa despicable, and they are jumping on M-O-E. Tosses him out of the ring. I am sure enemy of the state is not gonna take that bullshit line down, but the winners of this matchup Loa and Lo Sefa, the Islanders. And that is going to do it for today's show, ladies and gents. Thank you for sticking with us. I am your host, FGM Paula Masan, saying those devils catch us Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific. Ahala.